My name is Sydney Brannick, and I'm a PhD candidate with dual affiliation here at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History and Case Western Reserve University, and my research focus is within um, the biological science of entomology, or the study of insects. So one of the methods that we actually acquire new material, and by material I mean um, praying mantises in this collection, is by going out and doing field work in various countries around the world. And so all of these are praying mantises that were collected in Vietnam in different localities within the country, including some islands. We were able to capture all of the material you see here. So some of those techniques involved using a sweep net to sweep vegetation. We also used light trapping methods using an LED or halide light source to lure in flight capable mantises. We also are able to find mantises by scanning the bark of tree trunks. So some of these we're able to actually collect in that way as well. This group right here and these right here are actually new species to science. So in addition to adding material to our collection, we're also able to discover new species by going on these field trips. Right now we are just collecting the data to help describe those species. I'm taking measurements of certain structures on a new species of praying mantis and help us to suss out um, any character differences that we observe. So we are in the DNA lab here at the museum, and I am going to perform a genital dissection on a couple of different specimens that were collected here in Cleveland, Ohio. These are Mantis religiosa. While they are non-native to America, um, we do actually have them locally, so you can find them in your backyard. So to perform a genital dissection, you have to make a series of incisions using these ultra-fine scissors and we use the forceps to help stabilize the specimen while we do that. And the idea is to isolate the very terminal end of the abdomen on the insect, because in the terminal end, that's where the genitalia or the genital complex uh, resides. And the reason we want to access the genital complex is because there's a lot of character information there that can help us determine things like whether or not it's a new species or any interesting ultrastructure on the organ itself to help us understand more about how mating works or intraspecific variability within the complex itself. So there's lots of interesting questions we can ask about genitalia, and that's why we want to access it today. So I've isolated the genital complex here, and this is the mantis. So we're going to store this in ethanol until we're ready to treat it with the KOH. And ethanol helps to preserve tissues, including DNA, um, so we can study it down the road, even 30 years down the road. 